Welcome back there, boys and girls. Just a real quick introduction for you on the inquiry activity that we will be doing uh, together in class. So uh, first, you'll need to collect some data at home, and then we can work on some of the harder aspects like graphing and data analysis uh, when we get together again. So I'm going to switch over to the document, so, and I'm going to make it bigger. All right, there we go. So. Uh, we've got some introduction information here. Make sure that you're reading this, especially, you know, what a hypothesis is. So you're not confused about what it isn't. Um, here, we're going to uh, look at our hypothesis. And for this class, we can talk, think about accepting or modifying or rejecting our hypothesis. Really, in science, it's going to be uh, accept. Uh, there will be no accepting. It'll be reject or fail to reject. But... In this case, you know, we'll, we'll keep it easy. So the first thing you'll need to do is come up with your hypothesis. Now, the purposes of this assignment, you've been hired by Nike to explain the phenomena of a person's height and the length of their shoes. So Nike seems to think there's some kind of relationship there. What do you think that relationship is? Keep in mind that a really good template is those if-then statements that you've been using, like, in middle school. So... If their shoe size is meh, then their height will probably be meh. Or you could go the other way around. If they have a height of meh, then their shoe size is more likely to be her. And you don't have to give exact numbers. Just give, you know, bigger, smaller, that sort of generality. As so you make your hypothesis, you're going to write your hypothesis. And you'll notice that if you click right down here, you should be able to write your hypothesis without any sort of problem. So you'll click here and it should be highlighted this one's not so highlighted but look wait now boom now it's gonna be highlighted so your answer here you'll put it in it will be highlighted with this orange color please 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 do not remove the highlighting if you want to change the color you can but the highlighting will make it easier for me to find then you're going to gather some data we have a graph right here a little data sheet where you can record and watch your data. So you're going to put the person's name. And if you're not sure of their name, like it's some stranger you found out in the wilderness, you can say uh, person number one. But basically what I'm looking for here is I want your info. I want your height in meters and your, your shoe length. Wow. And your shoe length in millimeters. Those are the tiniest, tiniest little marks on the ruler. Now, on the BLE, I've got a link on the schedule for an app that you can use to turn your phone into a meter stick and measure millimeters. If all you have at home is an SAE ruler, all you have to do is open up a new tab, and let's say you had 12 inches. You want to find that in millimeters. Boom, there you go. You type in 12 inches to millimeters into Google, and there she is. It'll do it for you. There's no reason to not have your answers nice and clean and metric like they should be. Then, once you get in here, we'll zoom out a little bit so we can see the page. Right in this area, you're going to... Stand by. Right in this area right here, you're going to insert your graph. You can do it on graph paper, take a picture, and, you know, copy-paste it on here. You use the, phone on your, the camera on your phone. You can use... You can use a camera on your phone, or you could also use the camera on your Chromebook. However, the camera on your phone is going to be much better quality. You could also open up a new Google Sheet. Don't use this one. You could open up a new Google Sheet, copy-paste on this data, and make yourself a graph. This one we'll be doing in class. For your homework, all you have to do is add in your data. And if everyone adds in their data, they'll have a nice set of data to work with. We need at least eight people as it says here in the instructions after you got that in you're good to go then we'll graph the data we will analyze the data with by answering these questions again it's going to be orange then you'll make some predictions using your trend line fill in this table do some more calculations and then you're going to give me a nice clever that's claim evidence reasoning uh, basically answer to the question what is the deal with people's height and people's shoe size. What's the relationship? Thanks for watching. Uh, get on in there and measure yourself. Yay.